They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel. I'm at my new standing desk today. This is awfully nice, just kind of standing around. Hey, hey. Anyhow, I'm going to do a review on this over on the other side of Squirrel. So, we'll uh, hopefully we'll see how that turns out for us. But either way, it's a new desk. It's a new day. It's Mickey Flanagan Monday, and uh, today we got a little Mickey Flanagan women versus men. So interested to see what this is about because I ain't found. A man that's figured out women, or a woman that's figured out men just yet. We all think we got it figured out. I don't think anybody's got it figured out yet, but let's give it a whirl. Let's see what women versus men is all about. It's Mickey. It's got to be somewhat good, right? Yeah, usually doesn't miss. Now, there's only two things I know about women. They love a new top, and they love talking. Ooh. <laughs> to a top. point where men look and think, how do they do it? <laughs> How do they keep talking when there's nothing to say? <laughs> you never see two women just staring past each other. So <laughs> <laughs> men do that. They look at each other and they go for it, then they <laughs> come up. <laughs> you ever see a woman try to end a phone call? It takes my wife about an hour to end a phone call. She says bye about 50 times. <laughs> bye then, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. I gotta tell you, back in the day, I think that was very, very true. And I think that, uh, with some people, it may still be true. But it definitely has changed with cell phones. Because we can get in touch with each other so fast and so often now, people don't mind in the conversation because they know if the other person forgot something or if they forgot something, it's a simple text message or zip, call them right back. And you know they're going to answer. You just talk to them. They didn't walk away from the phone. It's in their pocket. Bye-bye. You're Bye. joking, really? <laughs> and my wife really loves talking and I cannot fulfill all her talking needs that's the bottom line thank God she's got friends for that and often she'll have what she calls a girly night in so they can all get together and talk this is inspired quite a lot by the fact that one of them is down <laughs> if a woman is down her sisters gather round to build her up. <laughs> and we know why she's down. Because of that bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They told her he was a bastard. But did she listen? No. She said she loves a bastard. She likes the thrill and the excitement of the bastard. The unpredictability of the bastard man. <laughs> Who wants a kind, reliable man? And now he's fucked her mum. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's fucked her mum. Okay, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. That's a beautiful look. That's the look of, I got these fuckers eating out of the palm of my hand right now. He knows right now, comedically, he is being very successful on that stage. He's done the milf gilf combo. <laughs> Legend or bastard, you decide. <laughs> so my wife says to me, all the girls are coming round on Thursday night. What are you going to do? This is her way of saying, the girls are coming round on Thursday night. You must leave the building. <laughs> Happy to go. I look in the fridge before I leave. There's eight bottles of carver there. Of course. There's five of them coming, man. <laughs> and when I leave, they're all in the front room. Chit, 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 chat, chat, chat. And I say, ciao, Bella, ciao, Bella. And I leave. And when I come back, I'd have thought things would have calmed down a bit. No. It's chaos in the front room. No one's listening to anyone. <laughs> There's always one who's just drifted off to the stereo to have a little dance on her own. <laughs> wow. Bastard. Wow. 
There's always one crying. There's always one crying. The old man, the come on, come on, come on. They say, come on. And I see all this through the window. <laughs> and as I come in, Smart my wife comes to the door. She goes, don't come in here. Somebody's crying. <laughs> and I say, funny enough, babe, I was going to give it a miss. <laughs> And I go to bed. It's got nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. And I say, no more of it. It's her night. Yet if I go out for the evening, my wife is deeply interested <laughs> in every single detail. Starts in the afternoon. <laughs> she starts following me about. <laughs> so where are you going tonight? <laughs> I say, I don't know. We've not decided yet. <laughs> What if you can't get in? <laughs> what, the pub? <laughs> you can't be able to get in the pub to drink lager. <laughs> Who's coming along? I don't know. No one's really confirmed yet. Oh. <laughs> oh, babe. This sounds like a disaster. <laughs> I say, look, I'm not worried about it. Don't you worry about it, really, it's fine. And as I leave, she says, say hello to everybody for me. <laughs> Can I tell you here and there, girls, we never we say hello for you. <laughs> it goes in one ear and out the other. You can carry on true. asking till the end of time. It's so, so true that, that, that that's pretty much how it goes. But I real quick just wanted to point out this, that, you know, when you go to leave and the wife says, you know, what's who's going? You're like, well, nobody's confirmed. Like, oh, no, it's a disaster. Your husband is Mickey fucking Flanagan, okay? He can walk in any pub with no friends and he's got a bunch of friends. Trust me. Trust me. No man has ever walked into a boozer. <laughs> My wife said to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Because all the other men would say, shut up, you <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> no one passes on the salo for me. It's from their world. You're in our world now. <laughs> and when I get home, she's on me again. All right. Did you have a good night? <laughs> I say, yes, thanks. Any gossip? <laughs> Any scandal? They know, we just had a few treats and a few laughs. Mm. It's true. That's what we do. She says, well, how's Sue then? How's Sue at the moment? How is Sue? I said, I don't know, do I? Sue weren't there. Did you not ask Tony how Sue was? <laughs> I didn't even ask Tony how he was. <laughs> now, Thanks, Mickey. If I don't talk to her for a couple of days, she don't like it. She takes it personal. And I can feel it brewing. And as I come in the house, I think, oh, she's going to want to talk. <laughs> she says to me, come and sit by the island and tell me a story. She says, you must have a story for me. As if I'm an endless supply of stories. Like a lot of men, I used all my stories up years ago. <laughs> I've kept a few back for holidays. <laughs> they torture, haven't they? <laughs> and they torture. 14 nights staring at each other. <laughs> all up and burnt. <laughs> what do you mean, what have I been up to? I've been with you! <laughs> <laughs> You start talking absolute nonsense to each other, don't you? You just say anything. I think my flip-flops are breaking, babe. <laughs> when we turned up, they were flipping and flopping. <laughs> One of them's flapping a little bit now. Oh, boy. Well, folks, that was Mickey Flanagan for Mickey Flanagan Monday, Women versus Men. I gotta tell you, it's pretty spot-on. Mickey can take any real-life scenario and just over-accentuate the ridiculous parts of it and make it hilarious. Uh, I could totally see all those scenarios playing out. Um, I mean, I'm sure, you know, for the most part, 
Hang out with the guys, we're doing exactly that. Gonna grab a couple beers, swap some stories, have some laughs. Seriously, that's about it for me anyway. I know, maybe I'm boring, I don't know, but that's what I enjoy doing. But uh, it's so funny, you know, like, I'll say to my wife, hey, do you mind if I go out with uh, so-and-so? And I mean, this hasn't really happened much because of quarantining and stuff, but she's like, no, go. She'll say, hey, so-and-so wants to go out for dinner. Or, you know, me and the couple of girls are going to go out and have, have a couple of glasses of wine or something. You mind? No, go. Like, we encourage each other. Get out. Go. Go do something. Have some fun with someone besides me. You know, we all need adult interaction with our friends once in a while. And especially when you got five little squirrels running around. we got to get the hell out of this house once in a while. Psh. Speaking of getting the hell out of here, I'm getting the hell out of here. Squirrel out. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah.